In our next experiment, we are going to see how temperature influences the dispersion of two liquids. For this experiment, you will need two labelled glasses. That is, we are going to pour hot water in one and cold water in the other. I have labelled these glasses as hot and cold. Then you will need hot water. You have to take the help of an adult because you are handling hot water. You will need cold water. And to differentiate we will need food dye. Here I am using pink and blue colored food dye. So shall we begin our experiment? So I will begin by pouring the hot water in the glass that is labeled hot. And I am pouring cold water in the glass that is labeled cold. The next step is to add the food dye. I am adding pink colored food dye into the hot water. You need to be very observant here. So I am adding one drop of pink food dye. In the hot water you saw that it mixed completely. It mixed immediately, right? There was no time delay. Next, shall we see what happens in the cold water? I am adding blue colored food dye in the cold water. What can you see? It did not mix immediately. There is a time delay. It mixes slowly. So the time taken for one liquid to disperse into water is more in cold water than in hot water. So why does this happen? When we heat water, the water molecules gain kinetic energy and they collide with each other. So when you add another liquid, in this case the food dye, it is easily dispersed because the molecules are fast moving. The molecules of hot water are fast moving and there are more collisions therefore helping the food dye to dissolve faster. In the cold water, the molecules are not moving fast. Therefore, it takes time for the food dye to mix with the cold water. So I hope you understood what happened in this experiment. We learnt the effect of temperature on the speed of dispersion.